Ah, welcome back my gardening friends. Well, as you know, I don't freeze a lot of stuff. Uh, so this is how uh, I keep my beans uh, fresher for longer. Pop these in the fridge now and uh, they won't go limp. Uh, well worth a try. Uh, my mum and dad used to have rows and rows of beans when we used to keep chickens and they used to sell the beans uh, on the egg round which we always used to go out, enjoy, join uh, the effort. And we used to do absolutely loads. So it's never ever really left me. But these are the pong Pongo beans uh, from Bill and Val. And uh, they're uh, really nice especially if you uh, pick them uh, a lot smaller but as you know they do get big rather quickly so we've got a few beans harvesting i'll just qu quickly show you um, the onions so uh, top left we've got the uh, banana shallot long red florence and the next one's down uh, just down here are the uh, Banana slots, so there's a baroon at the bottom of the screen, Bedfordshire champions, and the stick ones in the far there, still standing, are the um, onions that Marie Curry sent me, uh, the Walla Walla onions. Uh, fortunately, uh, some have gone to seed, but uh, I'll uh, hopefully be able to get a decent meal out of them. I've still got some more seed from uh, what she's sent anyway. Oh, hello, trouble. Hello, these are the, uh, hang on a minute then. These uh, onions have really done well. I'm just going to uh, have five or 10 minutes now. Sun, and obviously you can hear the granddaughter there. We'll be back shortly. Well, that's it. Uh, sun's uh, robbed me of uh, a load of vegetables, but that's what it's all about. I do grow far more than I need, but it's nice to make sure the family's uh, got plenty to uh, sprouts and uh, I have got sprouts now this is a club root variety so with the new beds and all uh, being layered etc I might keep club root at bay but this is club root resistant and uh, hopefully keeping an eye out for caterpillars because we're not netted I'll have uh, some sprouts uh, for Christmas Day well, we've had some really heavy rain, very humid conditions. The potatoes are now looking very, very sad. Uh, I'm not sure whether this is uh, blight anyway, but can't take any chances. The uh, stalks seem fine. Just a matter of keeping an eye out. Uh, the patches that you don't want uh, they normally start in the middle there and uh, belly out travels down the stem once it gets uh, into the stem it can get down into your potatoes so I knew I was going to uh, take these uh, horns out so they've been fed with or watered with the uh, fish poo give them a good soak and that rain that we had uh, will have helped as well just to puff those potatoes out and then these will stay in the ground so this is how to stop the blight uh, traveling down uh, the, the uh, horn uh, to the potatoes so what I do and I think it is the best way is uh, to get hold of the, the horns hold the soil and uh, pull everything out I'm going to do that for everything there. Now these have uh, gone a little bit soggy, so they're not going to uh, grow anymore. And as you see, the tops are, uh, have gone. These are some better tops. We uh, hold the soil to stop uh, the potatoes coming out. This is always worth. Now these are the uh, pink fur potatoes. Uh, from uh, Steve's uh, allotment he sent me a few 
simply half a dozen or so and uh, no doubt I've got uh, quite a few in there now if you remember I planted these really deep well before just before the lockdown when we thought our allotments would be closed and nobody could go out so I planted them really deep but I'm still getting potatoes at the top hey, that have gone green now you can save the green ones for seed so we'll see what how many we do get when I actually harvest them so I'm going to pull all these out now shan't bore you with that but I'll do a bit of pause and record Now, that means I'm not going to be worried about blight on my potatoes. Not worried about a mega harvest. And uh, what I should be doing, this is uh, going to be a permanent bed. So when I want some potatoes, I'll just uh, hoof them out. Not sure how deep I'm going to have to go. But as I move along, That was quite deep. Is it, it, once I know I've, I've actually got them all, I shall make sure I plant another potato way deep down so that uh, the uh, pink fir apple look like they've done uh, really well. They seem to spread everywhere. Whether they're supposed to get that big or not, I, <laughs> I was expecting it to be like that, but uh, the skin's peeling off that nicely, so I might uh, might take some of those. But what I can do, because I've got some white, a variety that we found on uh, plot one when we did the makeover on that, check that out in the playlist, uh, hashtag starting a new allotment. That takes you through the whole 18 months of me doing the allotment. We've got the pink fur from Steve, uh, the purple that we found, some kestrel, uh, the Picasso from Alan, and then my own Sarpo mirrors. So why not go along and have a few different varieties uh, on the plate, as and when I want them. And like I said, we'll leave a few in the ground and uh, they'll be the volunteers. Let's go and have a look at the ones in the 56 litre cloth pots all these tops will go home and they'll be put in the municipal bin so they can go up for the uh, hot composting I'm not going to risk uh, doing anything other than that uh, with those we don't want to keep blight on the allotment so over on plot one we've got four cloth pots uh, this one is uh, four seeds of the, the marfonia and it's throwing up uh, some of the seed pods <laughs> and uh, some weeds then this one which is dying back now which is the uh, unknown uh, four seeds there we've got uh, some king edwards and here there's a red variety uh, i think it's uh, not quite sure uh, which one it is uh, at the moment but whether it's the red duke of york i'm not sure but it's a potato and uh, these cloth sacks are sitting in these containers so they're easily watered i'm going to keep an eye on those no signs of uh, any major damage we just need to keep an eye on these tips but at the moment these can stay but like before once they start dying off i'll rip them out and these will be stored in the polytunnel for harvesting uh, over the winter into the new year i've sorted all the pots out we've got some of these little dinky ones they're quite useful in some different sizes uh, a few square ones uh, a few of the three inch the short ones and then some of the three inch they're a, a deeper pot uh, i'm trying to keep the same and just a few, a few varieties there just to keep me uh, going I like to reuse repurpose hashtag sunflower challenge um, bill and val's harlequins uh, they look uh, a little bit more yellow than what they were when i had the seed originally sent but some of them are going over so i'm going to have to get this display uh, done and dusted so that uh, it's there for nick to judge uh, at the end of the competition
and I think it's a little bit early but uh, the apples seem uh, ready uh, I've had uh, four or uh, five now uh, on the floor some of them have got uh, a few marks on them but uh, very tasty excuse me very nice and juicy Oh, another find, um, got another set of drawers that can go with uh, the others that I've got for ready for when we change uh, the shed layout. Plenty of storage, there's all my recycled stuff. Lots of their little plastic containers, punnets for all the fruit that we collect and I'm still collecting the cardboard rolls uh, ready for uh, the beans uh, next year. The uh, carrots uh, are out, a previous video, and we've planted uh, some radish in there just to make uh, good use of uh, the space. Uh, I hope you've uh, found that uh, useful. You do have to keep an eye out for blight. If you're not sure what blight looks like, then pop over to William Coleman's garden and allotment and look out for his blight video on his tomatoes. That does show it very, very clearly. I'm not taking any chances. The plants look like they got the start of it. If you're not sure and you're happy with the crop that you're going to get that's already in the ground, then that's what I do. I whip them out and then I've ridged everything back up just to stop the potatoes uh, from going green. I pulled my uh, one of my giant beetroots out because it had gone to seed. I'm not going to hold uh, these back. They're a lot bigger than that. Those sparkle three, three radishes are now flowering. So we'll uh, see if we can get some pods. Apparently you can eat the pods uh, and they're quite tasty. So I'm uh, up for anything. I always listen to the comments. Well, nearly always. <laughs> Uh, if you've uh, enjoyed the content of this video then please consider subscribing hit the like button or dislike uh, it doesn't matter it's all interaction that's what youtube likes the more likes i get the more my videos get shown on the different platforms happy gardening to you all till next time my friends ta for now